That was a quick change. Prince Charles presents fashion designer Ralph Lauren with an honorary KBE at Buckingham Palace, fresh from a day at Royal Ascot. Prince Charles made a speedy dash back to Buckingham Palace from Royal Ascot this evening to award Ralph Lauren an honorary KBE. The fashion legend became the first American designer to receive the highest British honor, which stands for Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Mr. Lauren, 79, is best known for his role in the Ralph Lauren Corporation, a global multi-billion dollar enterprise. He stepped down as CEO of the company in September 2015 but remains executive chairman and chief creative officer. The private ceremony took place in Buckingham Palace, with the Prince of Wales swapping his Royal Ascot grey suit for a traditional tuxedo. Mr. Lauren was joined by his author and artist wife Ricky, 76, daughter Dylan and son David as well as other close friends and family. The designer, who celebrated 50 years in business in 2018, is believed to be worth around $7.2 billion, pound $5.6 billion, according to Forbes making him the 91st richest person in America. In the past he has received a key to the city of New York and the French Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur. When Mr. Lauren's knighthood was first announced in November last year, the UK Trade Commissioner for North America, Anthony Philipson, cited Lauren's key role in forging transatlantic cultural and economic connections as worthy justification for the honor. He also praised his role as a vanguard for the global fashion industry and American style for nearly half a century. The Ralph Lauren Corporation also released a statement citing the designer's long-running contributions as a philanthropist, with a particular focus on cancer charities. In 2016, London's Royal Marsden Hospital opened the Ralph Lauren Center for Breast Cancer Research, and earlier this month the company announced its plans to donate to a new treatment center. Earlier today Charles joined his mother the Queen and wife Duchess of Cornwall at the second day of Royal Ascot, which turned out to be a rain-soaked affair. They were joined by Princess Anne and the Earl and Countess of Wessex. The royal family loves wearing British designers, but there's one American fashion brand that Princess Diana, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle have all turned to for important occasions, Ralph Lauren. And on Wednesday. The storied designer was named an honorary Knight Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, KBE, for services to fashion by Queen Elizabeth. The private ceremony took place in Buckingham Palace on Wednesday where Lauren, 79, was presented with the honorary knighthood by Prince Charles. For the occasion, Lauren wore a black tuxedo and was accompanied by his family, wife Ricky Lauren and their children. Son David Lauren with his wife Lauren Bush Lauren, son Andrew Lauren, and daughter Dylan Lauren with her husband Paul A. Rumet. To have the honorary KBE conferred on me by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and presented to me personally by His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales is an honor I have humbly accepted, Lauren said in a statement. I have always been inspired by the history, traditions and culture of Great Britain and the historic relationship our two countries have shared. This is one of the most meaningful honors bestowed at this very special moment in my 50th anniversary. Lauren is the first American designer to receive such an honor. Other American recipients of UK KBE or MBE include Presidents Dwight D. Eisenhower, Ronald Reagan and George H. W. Bush, former New York City mayors Michael Bloomberg and Rudolph Giuliani, plus Angelina Jolie, Steven Spielberg and Bill and Melinda Gates. The brand, which celebrated its 50th anniversary last year, has a special tie to London. The Ralph Lauren Center for Breast Cancer Research opened at the Royal Marsden in June 2016, and is at the forefront of international breast cancer research, with a focus in the field of molecular testing. It has been committed to leading research into early diagnosis and the development of new treatments. This month, the Ralph Lauren Corporation will fund the building of a new state-of-the-art facility at the Royal Marsden, bringing together more than 300 researchers alongside 140,000 expected patients each year. I warmly congratulate Ralph Lauren on his award that recognizes these efforts and achievements over the past 50 years. In his storied career in fashion, business, and philanthropy, 
Mr. Lorem has played a key role in forging transatlantic cultural and economic connections, British Consul General to New York and Her Majesty's Trade Commissioner for North America, Anthony Philipson said in a statement when the news was announced in November 2018. As creator and visionary of the Ralph Lauren brand worldwide, Mr. Lauren has been a vanguard for the global fashion industry and American style for nearly half a century, Philipson said. In addition, monumental philanthropic efforts, especially in the realm of public health, cancer research and treatment in both the U.S. and the U.K., have led to benefits felt by citizens around the world. Members of the British royal family have worn the brand on multiple occasions. Meghan Markle wore a Ralph Lauren striped button-up with white culottes to Wimbledon in 2018 on her first solo outing with Kate Middleton. Middleton wore a black and white Ralph Lauren shirt dress just days after giving birth to Princess Charlotte in May 2015. And Princess Diana famously wore a white lace halter neck Ralph Lauren gown to the 1996 White House dinner. Throughout Lauren's career he has also been honored with the key to the city of New York from Mayor Michael Bloomberg, the French Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur and the James Smithson Bicentennial Medal. He won Women's Wear and Men's Wear Designer of the Year, Retailer of the Year and the prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award from the Council of Fashion Designers of America, as well as the CFDA's Humanitarian Leadership Award and the American Fashion Legend Award.